When God Wars Dungeon 2 was first released, I did a few loot from videos but only reported on about 50 kills or so and didn't complete all the bosses involved. I'd like to complete a full series of videos on loot from God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses, so today I bring you the Twin Furies and my loot from killing 100. As always, a brief history between me and the Twin Furies is in order, so this boss in particular holds the highest KC for my pet drop that I've ever had. The Nymore Braid drop came in at 29-21 KC, giving me 2 out of the 2 pets down there and allowing me to move on within my pet pursuit series. I've came back numerous times after getting the pet as I do enjoy killing the Twin Furies as they're fairly quick to take down and give some decent loot. Not the best drops to be had within God Wars Dungeon 2 but overall really enjoyable. So with that being said let's get into killing 100 Twin Furies to see what we can get. Welcome back to the loot portion of the video. Right away you'll be seeing that I ran into some bad luck with this batch of Twin Fury kills with no crest or weapon drops. Typically I would say to expect at least one of those within 100 kills, but it just wasn't my day. Crests for anybody who is wondering are about 13 mil apiece and weapons are at the sub 1 mil mark. But what we did end up with was two dormant armor pieces including a helm and a top, as well as a Zamrakian essence drop for a unique item. The other drops were your typical resource materials that do stack up to quite a bit of cash. After selling everything, I ended up with about 11.6 million GP from the drops alone. You might want to add in another 500k or so for the random coin drops that I got, which weren't accounted for in this video. So from 100 kills at Twin Furies, I ended up with roughly 12 mil, bringing the average drop to about 120k. I recommend the Twin Furies to people who are wanting to step up from something along the lines of the difficulty in QED and to be making progress with their PVM capabilities. That's going to do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed this type of Video, give it a like and consider subscribing for more RuneScape content and I'll see you in the next one.